Welcome to Live Sofully. This is the fourth and final part of my journey and adventure in Tibet. Good morning from Shikatsi. So I'm now heading up to Everest Base Camp right now. And here is the view along the way. We're going to change our tour bus to an eco van soon. And this is the hot dog that I bought just before getting on the bus. So we're passing through Tingri. And Tingri is a small town in the Tingri County of Shigatse. As I had previously mentioned in the last vlog. So we found many yaks along the way and the driver continuously honked while driving to get the yaks out of the way and to prevent them from getting hit by the cars and the bus. So we finally reached where we'll be staying at the base camp. So this is the entrance of it. And here we have a little tent tour. So here's how it looks like on the inside of the tent that we'll be staying in. So I'm going to be sharing the tent with my tour family. And here is the bedroom. And it's pretty cold outside as well as you can see from the flags. So here's another view of our tent. And this is the kitchen inside our tent. So here is some hot butter tea to warm me up. So here are more views around the base camp. Due to the foggy weather, we couldn't catch the sunset of Everest, so that was a bit upsetting, but it's okay. Look at the wind blowing on the roof of the tent. It's so cold as well, so we decided to head back to the tent instead of waiting out. So there behind the clouds stand Mount Everest. Since I couldn't watch the sunset, I decided to watch our chef cook our dinner instead. Don't worry, he gave me permission to film and disturb his peace. So right now, he's chopping up frozen meat. He's now making an all-time favourite, which is fried rice. I was getting hungry as I was filming him. And it was getting super cold outside at negative 16 degrees Celsius right now. So I'm cold and hungry. I'm waiting for him to finish cooking. The heater inside the tent wasn't working very well too. So I suppose the best place to keep warm would be the kitchen. So here it is, it's finally done and it was good. We are now at negative 19 degrees Celsius and it's about 2100 hours. So I woke up at 3 am for stargazing. It was dead silent outside and there were so many stars but I couldn't capture it clearly with my phone constantly freezing up. So here are some photos that I got from someone I met while stargazing. 
So I went back to bed for two hours before the sunrise and here it is. I woke up freezing to this beautiful view. There she is, beautiful Mount Everest. Look at that. I added on more layers and started our track closer to Everest. I was pretty much bundled up like a dumpling. But I was still freezing in the early morning at base camp. I also got close and personal with the cute yak. With every step that I took, I still couldn't believe my eyes. Am I dreaming? Is that really Mount Everest? And here is Rongwuk Monastery, and that is the highest monastery in the world. Am I dreaming? I'm actually seeing Mount Everest with my own two eyes. I still can't believe it. The journey here has been nothing short of incredible. It is a dream turned to reality. This is some ice forming on the cold, cold ground. So this is the breakfast that I got in the tent, butter tea with egg and pancake. So there's another long drive from Everest Base Camp back to Shikansi City. Enjoy the scenic views along the way. Here is the ancient town of Sakya. We're going to have our lunch here. And this is shredded potatoes with rice. And we are off to continue our drive to Shikatsei City. We found many sheep along the way, and the driver kept stopping and honking as well to get them out of the way and not 
zu handeln. Civilization in Shigatsu City. We are now making our way to see the exterior of Tashi Lumpo Monastery. Tashi Lumpo Monastery is on the western side of Shigatsu. It was founded by the Dalai Lama in 1447. It is also the traditional seat of the Panchen Lama, which is the second most important Lama in Tibetan Buddhism. So we ordered dinner to a hotel room in Shikatsu city, and this is my breakfast on my second last day here in Tibet. Taking another short rest stop here for cold, fresh air. And here is another short stop before we reach Lhasa really soon. to the same accommodation in Lhasa. The service, the ambience, the room view here has been spectacular. It really made me forget about my lack of oxygen. And here is Pu enjoying the view. So before the day ends, we headed on to Barkhaw Street. We decided to walk around and explore various shops there. 
I felt like trying on the uh, traditional costume. And I managed to find one that didn't include the extra makeup and the hair and the photographer as well. So here it is. I thought it looked really cute. And we move on to our dinner place. This place really has great vibes, great ambience. This restaurant is beautifully decorated too. And look at this. This is the washroom. It's not cute. So I'm with the tour family and we are having a feast. We ordered many dishes and we shared them. So I decided to take a walk after dinner. And I found a bunny. It was so cute and so fluffy. So this is the streets of Lhasa at night. Everywhere is so well lit with great lighting. Look at that. It's so pretty. The lights on the trees. And I also popped into a store selling beautiful scarves. I love how their details are so intricate. Here is a night view of the Potala Palace that I've shown in the second vlog. The ambience here is absolutely amazing, especially at night with all the lighting here. So it's one of the best views I've captured tonight on my evening walk. Music is playing all around the area. And I also have found a beautiful couple during the waltz and it was how they had met through a dance class. I thought it was really 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 sweet. And this is my breakfast for my last day here in Tibet. I caught the sun shining brilliantly through the branches and the leaves. The gardens here are so pretty. They have many variations of flowers. Spring is evidently blooming all around. I also visited the salon for a quick wash and I also visited my new Tibetan friend at the cafe from vlog 1. And I also bought coffee made by him. I headed to the airport right after and I finally tried their KFC in Tibet. While waiting for my flight, I went around and browsed through a store. And we are off to transit in Beijing. over there and this is bread and I'm trying to open the aluminium foil and we have rice, shredded potatoes and some tofu catching the sunset on my flight it was so pretty
So we had to collect our luggage for our next flight to Singapore and it was such a rush and I almost missed my connecting flight but we managed to board almost on time and this is the breakfast on board it tasted pretty good or maybe was I too hungry okay wait for it did you catch that? Till then.